Hi everyone, my name is Jessica and I am the owner of Jessica Catherine Photography, which is a traveling newborn portrait studio that serves clients in the Philadelphia, Pennsylvania area. So what we're here to do today is review three props from Fox Backdrop. So you'll see me um, pick them up here and show you them in the beginning of the video, but later you will see them actually in use. So with a live baby, and I was really using these props for the first time with that baby. Um, so let's get started. Okay, here's our first prop, uh, just so you can see size-wise. Now dimensions, so from the inside, it's about 11 inches. And then if you count this piece to the out, like if you were to measure from the outside of this piece to the outside of this piece, it's 12 and a half. But what we're, we're really worried about obviously is the inside dimensions is about 11 inches. Now, most of you are probably familiar, so the test we do with props to see if we can lay a baby down as we put our elbow in and we see if our wrist can fit. Um, but that's not what this prop was likely designed for, um, unless you have a very, very small baby. What this prop is great for is chin on hands. So you put the prop like this, and I have a little helper here who's going to demonstrate. Um, this is not, you know, to scale, but this is chin on hands. So this is a really great prop for this particular pose. Um, now he's a lot smaller than a real baby, so you'll see me do this with a real baby later. Um, and a couple of note, uh, things to note uh, regarding this prop and every prop that I'm showing you today and every prop you ever use. If you are ever leaning baby against a prop, you need to weigh the prop down. So in my video, I put a weight at the bottom of this prop because it was like this. So I put a weight in here, baby's bum went towards the back, her whole body went forward and she ends up like this on the prop. So you do need to weigh that down, use your discretion. Um, I personally used five pounds in the live video, but I often use 10 pounds. Um, and then the second thing to remember with any prop is you really shouldn't have baby touching the prop. Um, you know, they're wood, they're bamboo, they're not soft, baby's um, skin is delicate. So we do wanna put layers down to just protect baby um, and keep baby nice and comfy. So that's what you'll see me do in all of these videos. Um, so yeah, this is very, very light. I mean, super light, great for transportation. Actually, all these props are light. So let's go to our next one. Which is the Mini Star Newborn Wooden Prop. Um, so this guy, very light. Um, it's dimensions wise, so it's a little hard to measure, but about 14 inches from here to here and about 16 and a half inches from here to here. So baby was never touching, even though it kind of looks like it, which is a, you know, that means we did it well. Um, baby is not touching this prop. She looks like she's laying on it, but she's laying on pillows and layers and she's nice and comfy. So that is what I did with this. I did it on, so I use this prop on the floor, um, how you would maybe more traditionally use a prop, but I also put it on the bean bag. So I put it flat like this on my bean bag. I stuffed it and then I put baby in there. Well, excuse me, I stuffed it. I stretched fabric over it and then I put baby in there. So you'll see a completely different look where basically you just get the outline of the prop and it's quite beautiful, simple, clean, classic. Um, a little bit different actually. So maybe I shouldn't use the word classic because it is a little bit of a different thing to do. So let me um, get you the third prop. this guy so this is the wood bowl baby moon it is quite large but it's still pretty light sorry it's <laughs> hitting myself with it no it's light um it's just a little bit awkward because it's so large um awkward to hold in this video not awkward in real life in terms of sizing now this baby or excuse me this uh, teddy bear is smaller than a baby but you can see like yeah, he, uh, he's pretty small in there. So a real baby will still be smaller in there and you're gonna see that in my video. Um, I, I guess I could have positioned her in multiple ways. I chose the way that I thought was best. And in terms of dimensions, so this was a little tough cause I had to guess like what is the, um, like at what point was the longest and widest, but basically I was measuring just under 20 inches here. And then I was measuring just under 11 inches here. Um, and then this is seven inches deep, it's really deep. I mean, you can see that there. So I stuffed it quite a bit and I, you know what, I forgot. Um, this one is six inches deep. 
And this one is about five and three quarters inches deep. So there we go, we've covered the depth of each of them. Um, so what I'm gonna do is now show you how I used um, Baby H in all of these props. And it was the first time I was using all of them. So it's like a really good, um, you know, behind the scenes look into what this, um, how this all worked. And I will say I did personally really like using all of these props. Um, I don't know if I have a favorite between like the star and the moon on the beanbag or on the floor, but you guys can look at the images and decide for yourself. So see you in a little bit. Okay, everybody, here's Baby H. We are gonna put Baby H in our cute basket here. We put a five pound weight in the back of it. That's just a counterweight. Um, for safety, you wanna do at least five pounds or use your discretion, but I've used five. So I have also wrapped the bottom of her just to make her feel more secure. And I think you can see under here, I have like a little pillow that her arms are gonna rest on. So she is not ever gonna touch this prop. She's got a pillow here. We're covering that little pillow with like a little layer that's cute. And we're gonna put her in the middle there. Wanted to let everybody know that there is a spotter who is off camera um, to our left here but has the baby within arm's reach. Just a quick note here I wanted to point out that I am actually you know on location in someone's house and in this case we are in Big Sister's playroom so that is what you're seeing in the background there. Um, I personally don't think you must have a studio space to be a successful portrait artist um, and all of my work is done in situations like this. Okay, so what we've got here is the prop and on this side I put a little extra something where her head will go and you stuff the prop to create a nice soft place for baby. And you want to kind of create a hole in the middle-ish for where most of her body is going to go and then prop her mostly up here where her head will rest. It doesn't matter if it looks pretty because you're going to be taking your fabric and covering it. Just wanted to jump in here and say I ended up changing my mind on where to place her head. So I thought it would actually be better to place her head on the star itself, not within one of the points. So what I did was I placed a pillow on the wood um, and you can see it. There's like a lump right in, if you look at the video, there's like a lump in the star. That's where her head goes. So her head goes completely on a pillow that's on the star. I'm using live view on my camera so that I can just camera strap is over my body. I have it on me. And there we go. Like this one. So I want her bum to sink in a little more. Just wanted to add that um, if you look under her shoulders, you'll see a pillow. I did end up adding that as I liked the position she was in better with that. So the next time I go to use this prop, I'll just know to add that pillow under the fabric. Um, it was well enough hidden here, but if you can do it before you stretch that fabric down, obviously it's better. And what I'm gonna do now is stuff the prop with this fun layer. which has a really cute and interesting texture to it. So I'm gonna see what happens when I put baby straight on like that. We did not have baby like that last time. We had baby kind of over here on her head. When we put her 
and just straight in there. Okay, so she's just under seven pounds for reference. I'll put her exact weight in the comments. So actually what I've done here is I've actually scooted her bum into this part of the star. It's giving me a little more wiggle room with where to put her head. And we don't want the baby's head touching the wood, like I said earlier. So we want to bring up our pillows for support, but cover them with our cute fabric here. And put her nice and snug, making sure her head is not touching the prop directly into the star. So she's not touching it, but I'm just going to scoot some of that in there because it's going to drive me bananas later in the Photoshop. And I think she looks pretty darn perfect. got our stuffing looks cute now I don't have a matching pillowcase to go with this so what I'm gonna do is just put a pillow under here so that way her head is gonna be supported I think it would be cute it's just add some roses some cabbage roses here and now we'll put her down Hi guys, I hope you enjoyed the videos. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. Um, what would really help is if you can subscribe to my channel, follow me on Instagram. I'll put you know all the social media stuff in the description below, um, but would love to answer any questions you have in the comments. And I really look forward to doing some more of these videos for you. Thanks so much.